The atmosphere in the Wells Fargo Center is electric. The energy is palpable, a living, breathing entity that seems to pulse through the very walls of the arena. Fans have been waiting for this moment, some for hours, others for days, and the anticipation has reached a fever pitch. The air is thick with excitement, and you can almost taste the adrenaline in the air. The air crackles with anticipation. Faces in the crowd are lit up with joy, hope, and a touch of nervousness. Every clap, every cheer, every wave of the flag adds to the crescendo of noise that fills the arena. It's a symphony of human emotion, a collective heartbeat that syncs with the rhythm of the game about to unfold. Fans are on their feet, they wave their flags, they chant their chants, and they become a sea of movement and sound. The unity among them is almost tangible, a shared belief that tonight could be the night their team triumphs. The sense of community is overwhelming as strangers become friends united by their love for the game. They're roaring as their Philadelphia 76 ERs take the court. The players emerge from the tunnel, greeted by a wall of sound that hits them like a wave. Each step they take is met with thunderous applause, each name announced over the loudspeaker is met with deafening cheers. The players feed off this energy, their faces set with determination, their bodies ready for the battle ahead. Across from them, the Indiana Pacers, cool and collected, prepare for battle. Their faces are masks of concentration, their movements precise and deliberate. They know they are stepping into hostile territory, but they are unfazed. They have their own fans, their own dreams, and they are here to make a statement. The calm before the storm is a moment of quiet intensity, a brief pause before the chaos of the game begins. It's a matchup of East versus East, power versus finesse. The 76 ERs, known for their physicality and strength against the Pacers, who rely on speed and skill. It's a clash of styles, a test of wills, and both teams are ready to give it their all. The tension is almost unbearable, as fans from both sides hold their breath, waiting for the first whistle to blow. It promises to be a game for the ages, the kind of game that will be talked about for years to come, the kind of game that will be replayed in highlight reels and remembered in the annals of basketball history. The players know this, and they are ready to rise to the occasion. Every dribble, every pass, every shot will be scrutinized and they are prepared to leave everything on the court. The lights dim, the crowd erupts. It's a moment of pure, unadulterated excitement as the arena is plunged into darkness and then illuminated by thousands of tiny lights held up by the fans. It's a breathtaking sight, a visual representation of the collective energy and passion that fills the arena. The noise is deafening, a roar that seems to shake the very foundations of the building. The Pacers and 76 ERs, two forces in the Eastern Conference, are ready to collide. The noise is deafening. The players take their positions, their faces set with determination, their bodies tense with anticipation. The crowd is a living, breathing entity, a sea of faces and voices that seem to merge into one. The stage is set, the players are ready, and the game is about to begin. This is basketball at its finest. This is the NBA, the pinnacle of the sport, where the best of the best come to compete, to test their skills, to push themselves to the limit. It's a game of strategy, of athleticism, of heart and soul. And tonight, in the Wells Fargo Center, we are about to witness something truly special. The calm before the storm is over. Let the game begin. The Sixers, fueled by their home crowd, come out firing. Joel Embiid, a man amongst boys, asserts his dominance early. He's unstoppable. He scores six quick points. The Pacers struggle to contain him. Tyrese Maxey with lightning speed slices through the Pacers' defense. He adds to the Sixers' lead. The Pacers, though, are unfazed. They answer back. Tyrese Halliburton, their floor general, orchestrates the offense. He finds his teammates for open shots. The Pacers keep pace. The first quarter ends. The Sixers hold a slim lead. The second quarter is a battle in the paint. Embiid continues his rampage. He's a force of nature. He scores at will. But Miles Turner, the Pacers' defensive anchor, refuses to back down. He challenges every shot. The crowd is on its feet. The energy is palpable. Back and forth they go, basket for basket. The lead changes hands multiple times. This game is a dogfight. The Sixers, though, maintain a slight edge at the half. The second half begins with a frenetic pace. Both teams trade baskets. The lead seesaws. The Pacers go on a run, fueled by their outside shooting. The crowd grows anxious. Doc Rivers, the Sixers' veteran coach, calls a timeout. The timeout works wonders. The Sixers come out re-energized. They clamp down on defense. They force turnovers. They convert those turnovers into easy baskets. The momentum shifts again. By the end of the third quarter, the Sixers have regained control. The crowd erupts. Section 5 Pacers surge, Sixers stumble. The fourth quarter begins with a sense of urgency. The Pacers come out firing on all cylinders. They're playing inspired basketball. They claw their way back into the game. The Sixers look rattled. 
The crowd, sensing danger, grows quiet. The Pacers take the lead. The momentum has shifted. The Wells Fargo Center is stunned into silence. The Sixers look to their leader, Embiid. He needs to take over. Section 6, The City of Brotherly Love roars back. Embiid responds to the challenge. He takes over the game. He scores. He rebounds. He blocks shots. He's doing it all. The Sixers, feeding off their star's energy, mount a comeback of their own. The crowd is back in it. The energy is electric. Every possession is a battle. Every shot is contested. The game is tied with a minute left. This is it. This is what basketball is all about. Section 7, Down to the Wire. A nail-biting finish. The final minute is a blur of action. Both teams trade blows. Neither team gives an inch. The lead changes hands multiple times. The tension is palpable. The crowd is on its feet. The clock winds down. With seconds remaining, the Sixers have the ball. They're clinging to a one-point lead. NBA is fouled. He steps to the line for two free throws. The crowd holds its breath. Section 8. Sixers hold on. A victory hard-earned. Embiid calmly sinks both free throws. The Sixers lead by three. The Pacers have one last chance. Halliburton's desperation three-pointer at the buzzer clangs off the rim. The Sixers escape with a hard-fought victory. The final buzzer sounds. The crowd erupts in cheers. The Sixers, led by Embiid's heroics, have survived a scare. They've proven their mettle. They've earned this victory. Section 9. Embiid, a force of nature. Joel Embiid, the towering center for the Philadelphia 76 ERs, has been a revelation this season. His presence on the court is nothing short of electrifying, and tonight was no exception. Joel Embiid is the undisputed player of the game. He was simply unstoppable. From the moment he stepped onto the hardwood, it was clear that he was on a mission. His energy was palpable, and the crowd could feel it too. Every time he touched the ball, there was a sense of anticipation, a collective holding of breath, waiting to see what magic he would conjure next. He finished with a monster double-double, scoring 42 points and grabbing 15 rebounds. His offensive prowess was on full display as he effortlessly maneuvered around defenders, showcasing his incredible footwork and agility. Each basket he made seemed to deflate the Pacers' defense a little more, leaving them scrambling to find answers. He was a force on both ends of the court. He was the difference maker. He was the MVP. On defense, Embiid was a nightmare for the Pacers. His imposing presence in the paint made it nearly impossible for them to get easy shots off. He swatted away attempts with authority, sending a clear message that nothing would come easy tonight. Embiid's performance was a masterclass in power and finesse. His ability to blend brute strength with delicate touch is what sets him apart from other big men in the league. Whether it was a thunderous dunk that brought the crowd to its feet, or a soft jumper that kissed the rim before falling through, Embiid had it all working. He dominated the paint, scoring at will against a helpless Pacers defense. Time and again, he muscled his way to the basket, using his size and strength to create space and finish with authority. The Pacers tried to double-team him but it was to no avail. Embiid was in a zone, and there was nothing they could do to stop him. He was also a force on the boards, grabbing crucial rebounds in traffic. His timing and positioning were impeccable, allowing him to snatch rebounds away from opponents and give his team second-chance opportunities. Each rebound he secured was a testament to his relentless effort and determination. Defensively, he was a wall deterring shots and protecting the rim with authority. His shot-blocking ability was on full display, as he turned away would-be scorers with ease. But it wasn't just his blocks that made an impact, it was his mere presence. Opponents thought twice before driving to the basket, knowing that Embiid was lurking, ready to swat their shots into the stands. His defensive intensity set the tone for the entire team, inspiring his teammates to elevate their own play. In every aspect of the game, Joel Embiid was a force of nature. His performance tonight was a reminder of why he is considered one of the best players in the league. With his combination of skill, strength, and sheer willpower, Embiid continues to be a dominant force, capable of taking over any game and leading his team to victory. The fans left the arena in awe, knowing they had witnessed something truly special. Joel Embiid, a force of nature indeed. Section 10. Halliburton, the maestro of the Pacers. Despite the loss, Tyrese Halliburton was outstanding for the Pacers. His performance was nothing short of spectacular, and he demonstrated why he is considered one of the most promising young talents in the league. He was the engine that drove their offense, orchestrating plays with the precision of a seasoned veteran. His ability to read the game and make quick decisions was on full display. He finished with 25 points and 12 assists, showcasing his playmaking abilities. Each assist was a testament to his vision and understanding of the game, threading the needle through tight defenses. He kept the Pacers in the game, constantly pushing the tempo and keeping the defense on their heels. His relentless drive and determination were evident in every play. 
Halliburton was a magician with the ball in his hands. His dribbling skills were mesmerizing, leaving defenders guessing and often looking foolish. He sliced through the Sixers' defense with ease, finding his teammates for open shots. His ability to penetrate the defense and create opportunities was a key factor in the Pacers' offensive strategy. His court vision was exceptional, and his passes were always on target. Whether it was a no-look pass or a perfectly timed lob, Halliburton's distribution was impeccable. He kept the Sixers' defense on its toes all night long, his ability to adapt and find new ways to break through the defense was a constant threat. Halliburton's performance was a masterclass in offensive playmaking, and it was clear that he is a player to watch in the future. Beyond his individual stats, Halliburton's leadership on the court was evident. He was constantly communicating with his teammates, encouraging them, and setting the tone for the game. His positive energy and enthusiasm were infectious, lifting the entire team. In post-game interviews, Halliburton remained humble, crediting his teammates and coaches for their support. His maturity and poise off the court were as impressive as his skills on it. Halliburton's work ethic is well known, he spends countless hours in the gym honing his craft and improving his game. His dedication to his sport is unwavering, and it shows in his performance. Off the court, Halliburton is a fan favorite. He takes the time to interact with fans, sign autographs, and give back to the community. His genuine personality and approachable demeanor make him a beloved figure in Indiana. As the season progresses, all eyes will be on Tyrese Halliburton. His potential is limitless, and he has already shown that he can rise to the occasion. The maestro of the Pacers is just getting started, and the future looks incredibly bright for this young star. Section 11. Echoes of the Battle The game between the Sixers and the Pacers was a classic. It was a back-and-forth affair. It was a game that wasn't decided until the final buzzer. It was a game that showcased the best of the NBA. As the fans filed out of the Wells Fargo Center, they knew they had witnessed something special. They had witnessed a battle. They had witnessed two of the East's best teams leave it all on the court. They had witnessed the beauty of basketball.